NFL 22, where division rivals will clash in the AFC East. It's the Jets and the Fins, and it comes your way next. From beautiful South Florida, there's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. The excitement brewing here in South Florida. As a moment ago, the Dolphins starters were introduced to this home crowd. They're fired up as well as they get set to match up with the New York Jets. Brandon Gaughan alongside my good friend Charles Davis. And Charles, so often it's the quarterbacks that are in the spotlight, and in this game, no different. We have a very compelling matchup. And I think for me, and this isn't an original thought by any stretch, and probably for these two head coaches as well, the key for them is going to be limiting the turnovers, limiting the free possession. I mean, this isn't saying anything you don't already know, but you've got to be able to make the most out of your drives and see if your defense can help you out. Ready for football now on a sunny Florida afternoon. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. First down, O'Brien complete on the quick throw to Moore. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down. Back to throw, O'Brien. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. takes this up right near the 45-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a run down because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. It's a gain of three, and it gets him to first. Looking to throw, 
O'Brien. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. The CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. And it appears that this was just a letdown from the offensive line, but they do have a tough job because if you're a big tackle out there on the perimeter, Sometimes you don't have the agility to keep up with the defensive end who's looking to wreak havoc in the backfield. And he got there and put his man on the ground. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Drops it underneath to Thomas. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? Now it's Martin. That'll go as a punt of 32 yards, and it'll be Dolphin football. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. 27 yards there, a first down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That's a very nice game there, a confidence-building run. Love the execution up front, and the way you press the hole, absolutely perfect. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Second and five. Now Marino. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. Well, nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. On third down, Marino going for it all. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Well, that's what I call the answer right there. They gave him a sack on the previous play. How about what they did to finish things off, turning it right back around? That's the response, and that O-line feels a lot better now, don't they? Yeah, without a doubt, because giving up the sack on the previous play, that just hurts those guys, because they never want to see their guy get hit. The extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7-0. So that drive goes eight plays, and it winds up in six points for the Dolphins. The kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. He's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up the touchdown. 
to throw on second down. O'Brien, he's going to loft one deep left side here. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And they're going to get this all the way inside the Miami 15. Well, he's been doing this for a lot of years with the arm strength still there, and he showed it off on that one. On first down, McNeil. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Now that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Yeah, he's got it. Touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown ground. And the Jets are an extra point away from tying this thing up. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. With it on the return is Logan. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Let's go, go. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time they get at least a little bit more of a cushion with field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on... This is caught inside the 15. And deep he goes into Jets territory before being taken down. Well, I think it's about time I took my eyes off of the secondary or the guys with the football. How about the offensive line on that snap? They took care of business. Absolutely, and when he can stay in the pocket like that, you're going to get big plays like we just saw. Smith trying to run for it. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. CD for them, this has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 14 to 7. The kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The Jets ready to get going again here on offense. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. O'Brien trying to lay one up deep. And that's caught inside the 35. And he takes it all the way down to the 32. How about the first half he's putting together? Well over 100 yards already with that last catch. And to me, they'd be well served to keep looking his way. A number of big plays already in this one. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those Let's guys go. through there for a nice explosive run. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. 
From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And it's caught. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And this will result in him losing yardage back to the three. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. This defense really flowed around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, go, go, Jets. Run, run, run. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Jets are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Well, it was second and goal. You're in there close. That's the fullback's comfort zone. Not only is it his comfort zone, it's an expectation. That's what he's supposed to do. Turn and hand it to him. Big guys fire out. Find your way into the end zone. Point after, up and good. And we are tied here in the second quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Get ready, get ready, get ready. The Miami's offense set and ready to go. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Contain him to just four. Second down. Now it's Moreno. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Martin. And he goes out right around the 39. Seven yards there and a first down. To throw is Marino. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Marino's second down throw incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Now, meanwhile, Marino with the incomplete pass, it was knocked away. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they've got a little over 40 seconds to work with if they want to try to put something together. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds incomplete. He was trying to go back to Moore there. And now it's second down. Operating from the gun, O'Brien toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. 
They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. This time they stay on the ground. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. It's just a 30-yard punt that time, no return. And control of the football. Switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. And the Dolphins with one final possession here in this first half. And with decent starting field position, there may be only a couple completions away from field goal range. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. Well, that would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Second and ten now, Moreno. He's going to try and go deep again. And that is incomplete, nearly intercepted. The free safety couldn't quite get his hands around it, and it brings up third down. Certainly no lack of aggressiveness here. They were hoping for the home run play to get them six points. They're hoping for a catch, maybe a call, but they figure they can at least get into field goal range with a completion. And likely time for one final play here in the half, so they will go for it on fourth down. Final play of the half, it's Marino. He's gonna fire one deep over the middle. And it's incomplete, they cannot convert, on, and they turn it over. We have hit half time, and just like that, on we head to half number two. Both teams likely making their final adjustments before the second half. So, time for us to go back downstate to Miami and rejoin Brandon and Charles. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They mark him down at the 39. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Here's a give to Smith. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, they set the power set out there, and their job is to be man on man and move people so they can run the football. But that time, too many men didn't get moved in the box to... They end up throwing him for a loss. On second down, here's Smith again. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. From the gun on third down is Marino. He finds his man complete. It's Clayton. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. On the counter, it's Smith. Pass the 20. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. 
touchdown. A big play there. 42 yards. And the Dolphins have broken our tie as they take the lead. And that one heck of a run right there. Once he got loose, you could tell that he was going to run a long way. That was pretty impressive. And there's an old chestnut of an expression called getting on your horse. And I hate to use it, but I'm going to right here because it absolutely applies. How about the head of steam he had behind him? And he was absolutely galloping downfield. That was something to see. And the final clocking on the next-gen stats. Look at this. 22.3 miles an hour was his top speed. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. The kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. Taken in at the three. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense, plenty of time to get back in this game. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And this one nearly intercepted. Boy, that would have been a great time for their first pick. But instead, it's third down. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. To throw on third down, O'Brien. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Who over the dive look that time on defense just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. Nine yards on the punt, just two on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. They begin with a run by Smith. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. They'll run it again with Smith. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 76 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Check 
A first down carry for Smith. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Here's Marino. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. But worth noting, you know, that visiting sideline is getting the worst of the sun right now. It can down. especially because the other sideline is in full shade. They'll run on first down. Smith, he'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. And when you get good yards like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. It's so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Here we go now with Smith. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins add on to their lead. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead now up to 14. So this drive spans seven plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. The kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. Taken in at the three. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Another drive coming up for New York's offense. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Boy, that's tough, Charles. First play of the drive, you're hoping to stay ahead of schedule. You take that huge sack, and now you're facing second and a mile. And the entire time, you were probably thinking the same thing I was. Either get rid of the ball, safely, of course, or go down. The yardage he gave up on that play, that's going to be tough for them to make up. Looking to throw on second down. O'Brien. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And he'll be just shy of the 20 at the 19 as he goes out of bounds. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right? Whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs. In this case, in trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Just not much a quarterback can do there, CD. The pressure was in his face almost instantaneously. Led to a very quick sack. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. That one will be incomplete. He caught it but could not stay in bounds for the long connection. Yeah, that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Now he's going to send this one deep right side. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. On first down, it's Smith. And here he'll get it down to the seven. 92 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. The last run got six, now second and four. They go back to the ground with Smith. 
And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Marino will throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Dolphins have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. It's an important touchdown right there as now they're really beginning to pull away. Yeah, this was a tight game until not too long ago. But since then, they've got the accelerator. And they pushed the lead up to three scores here in the fourth quarter. And I don't see them looking back. The kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Another go around now for the Jets offense. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision. In trouble, and he's taken down. And when you see a quarterback retreating away from the line of scrimmage toward the other goal line like that, usually doesn't end well. You're exactly right about that. Normally, if they're moving from side to side, they've got a chance maybe to get back upfield. He was trying to shake defenders and extend the play, but it doesn't work out very well for them at all. You need those extra yards on the other side of the line of scrimmage. Now you're digging a hole for your offense. On third down, O'Brien. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaken up on the play. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. Here's the Jets punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. Officially just 27 yards there on the punt. And the Dolphins will begin this drive in great field position, first and 10. They'll run on first down. It's Smith. And down to the 36-yard line here. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. I know the game's not over, but there's got to be a sense of satisfaction right now for the guy carrying the football a bunch today. 99 yards, and he has enough time to go over the century mark. Well, you got to give it to him again, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You're not worried about losing yardage here. You're not worried about any of that. You just want to get him to the promised land for every runner. 100 yards or more in a game. A Miami first down, that one going for a gain of 11. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. That's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. After the penalty, it's Smith. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. 118 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. On second down, here's Smith. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Six yards, the pickup, and that's a first down. A handoff to Smith. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. And Marino actually going to look to throw it. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions, and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I can dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. 
And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half that put this one on ice. So you get the sense that whatever was said at halftime obviously hit home. I think it's a little bit more than that, though. Obviously, there are words that are said, and hey, come on, guys, we have to play better. But sometimes it's just sharpening your execution, sharpening your focus, and maybe doing the things you practiced all week without major adjustments, just doing them better. And that got it done in this one.